Well, hello, fine ladies and gentlemen. This is your always sick host, Nemo. And welcome uh, to the basically continuation of <clears throat> what we were doing last time. Um, I decided to continue this one study, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, I still have to think about the next step. Um, I might just attempt to turn one of my previously designed monsters to something like this by using um, some of these monsters as a reference. We'll see. We will see. <clears throat> as always, I apologize for the quality of the audio and of my actual voice, but I'm still sick, so uh, I'm probably going to be as long as I'm here. So apologies for that. Now I'm going to have to isolate, I think. <coughs> I was using, eh, yeah, some sort of gray here. So what do we have? Um, that's the back um, kind of wing. <coughs> hello, casual, hello. Welcome here. <coughs> and I hope you're having a good Saturday. So, um, let me zoom in on this. <coughs> I'm gonna have to um, clear my throat a lot of times today, I'm afraid. ASMR again. I haven't really been drawing a lot um, today, or well, these days in general, so I am overall a little rusty. Okay, so he or she is using apparently <clears throat> a slightly thicker line or a thicker series of lines. Wonder why. <laughs> Pretty sure though she just uh, erased the inside of some of these. Because I've seen her do that in other um, artworks uh, when uh, where it's a little more clear. So that's probably what happened. <coughs> yeah, these are probably down a little more. It's kind of interesting to see how even these, um, <coughs> excuse me, secondary spikes, it's not um, just like this, but it actually it comes up a little bit and then does that kind of like a hook. And this is some sort of interesting negative shape as well, very asymmetrical, or at least in the, um, <coughs> in the original artwork it is. <coughs> Excuse 
excuse me. I am trying to fight off this cough, but it might be with me for a while. I still wanted to stream. Yesterday was much worse. <laughs> and two days ago was even worse -er than that. So, hopefully it's not too disturbing. flow here a little bit. Yeah, this is a little lower. Oh, I forgot my humidifier. Hold on, that's why I'm coughing so much. <coughs> <coughs> okay, hopefully it's gonna get a little better now. It does help um, because the air is very hu uh, very not humid, very dry here um, these days. So <coughs> a humidifier helps greatly. I took a picture of the uh, hygrometer uh, uh, yesterday morning, I think, and it was 37% uh, humidity. That's very low in the house. I imagine outside is like 20. I don't know. <coughs> That's kind of ridiculous because you get um, uncomfortable, uh, uncomfortably dry weather in winter and uncomfortably um, humid in summer. You basically never have peace. access a little bit it does seem to me that it's a little squeezed I mean stretched but not 100% sure yet to get these and she probably didn't draw these um, kind of shadows um, because they help like the flow in fact it's going up with the flow and then this is considerably shorter so I'm pretty sure she didn't do this in the drawing <coughs> Let's ignore those patterns for now and just focus on the line on what she might have done here. So. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she went in. Might have even <coughs> rotated. I 
canvas a little bit to do that. Snapping turtle beak. to see also how she adds overlap. Technically you wouldn't be able to see both unless it's a very um, <coughs> long shot perspective. But she did it anyway, uh, probably intentionally. It would seem like it is intentional. So here she clearly drew or tried to figure out a bone structure for this. <coughs> Something. Interesting the way she um, <coughs> she handled the eye, kind of receding here, like from one side. And then I guess that's what she did. So she <coughs> tried to find a flow for the bone. And it seems like I'm missing something here, what is it? Probably gotta go up, yeah, higher. Okay, there you go, there's my mistake. This part needs to go higher. 100%. Something like this. Man, I'm gonna have to mute the mic if I keep coughing like this. Micrometer says 43% humidity. Basically, the desert. Here, I won't bother with all the details. She probably just went, eh, no, I don't think she went for the sweep here, actually. 
so there's some space here and then she went for um, a volume on the side so she actually gave it volume well I would have probably done like I usually do like this right like I did with the kaiju she does the opposite I should try to give body to this horn so it looks a little thicker and it does look it looks thicker so props to her good idea Very good idea. Yeah, and then she doubles. She doubles down with the um, with the shading and coloring. It's basically this part that I'm doing now. So here, so yeah, I would have done this probably. For some reason, she turns the sides to go the other way. Um, Well, nothing to say. She it does it does feel much better than it would have probably just just by having the normal sweep. Okay, so the other, um, no, this is, okay, this part looks a bit confusing to me. <coughs> so apparently, this should be another arm. Is that an arm? Yeah, okay, this is confusing. Like, there is this one. That's got the, the proto wing. And then this one also has the wing, but this one doesn't, or, because then there's another one here, so one, two, three, four, five, so it's going to be six. Yeah, this is, uh, not well done. <coughs> Very confusing. Very confusing, um... Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm just gonna add it. this <coughs> kind of going through it it goes in a little and then down and then out again there's a little like knob and then it goes back in this direction Hmm, 
not very clear here. Not very clear at all. <coughs> I think this is the other one that's supposed to be complementary to that. And then technically, actually, <coughs> the negative space here should be much, 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 much less. goes up and then the space here <coughs> it goes like it funnels a little bit so let me get the bottom first and it's still kind of here and then here it's it's pretty short it's something like that like a funnel a slight funnel like it goes in here <coughs> and narrows If it's as if it's pinched here, so I was thinking if I keep having a cough, um, which is probably going to happen, and um, I find it hard to stream long enough um, I might just start making some videos that I will upload like to YouTube same thing it's just uh, probably gonna be just me blabbering over um, a time-lapse <coughs> of one of these probably not the study and maybe some other creature I work on um, because this would allow me just to, to produce some content, um, not necessarily having to be live. Because as you can probably tell, it's kind of complicated right now. Although it sucks <laughs> not being able to do it. Okay, this is the arm. So I'm starting here. I think the junction is just supposed to be here. Then probably something. Just around here. Working the spike a bit and then trying to figure out the bulk.
okay so one thing I really like about this artist is the way she handles weight um, so like here I'm trying to kind of feel the squish squishing of the feet hands technically but let's say feet because this is the back one and this in the front I can feel the weight um, probably I think she might have used some elephants for this um, or rhinos as a reference interesting to see also like the way she handles <coughs> the toenails my usual go-to is like something like this basically a trapezoid but she she tries to really like make it make the bulk evident <coughs> Pretty evident, also very asymmetrical, very much. Even here, I would have, again, I would have done something like that, probably. But, she does it differently. She goes, goes up, <coughs> and then inside, like this. Hmm. And then, obviously, this one is a little lower, because it's longer. She must have done a lot of work with dinosaurs. And such because I can tell she's got a lot of experience under the belt. See them. <coughs> well, let me get a second. Okay, so I was saying, oh, hello, student 17, hello, thank you. Um, this is a copy, by the way. <clears throat> I, I will not finish this. Uh, this is just uh, a study that I'm doing. Um, so um, you can see the original here. That's the original. Um, so yeah, just trying to figure out some uh, shape design from her. How are you doing, by the way, student 17? As you can probably tell by my voice, I'm still sick. It's been three weeks now, basically, since uh, <laughs> the whole thing started, but <clears throat> it doesn't <clears throat> look like it's gonna stop soon. <clears throat> yep, probably gonna be sick the whole time here. I'd say a very, very cool way to handle nails. Are you gonna call it that too? Oh uh, no, 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 no! I'm probably gonna just stop today. This is the last uh, study I do uh, of this one. Um, I'm just trying to get a feel for the shape design, basically. Nothing more than that, and trying to figure out like some critical areas, like the spikes or the nails, and how she handles them differently compared to me. I am drinking water, man. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear about your grades. <clears throat> yes, I cough a lot. I actually had to mute uh, a couple times because I'm coughing too much. Um, and I keep cleaning my voice, yeah. Sickly country Japan is, isn't it? I see, I see. What time is it there, by the way? It's gotta be... 8? Or 9? 9.30 or 
uh, p.m. obviously. It's 10.30 here. Ish. So now she can do the structure she applies is something like this. I mean, there is a bulk here, clearly. Because I can see the, sh the uh, specular highlights. Some skin folds. Yep, 935, okay. Okay, I'm not bothered, that's cool. I am not missing school <laughs> at all. Some people like school, but I don't. I didn't. I just don't like to do what people tell me <laughs> that I have to do, so. I am a big proponent of not going to university because you can pretty much study by yourself now, unless it's a very technical thing like engineering or medical school. I'm a big, big proponent of being self-taught. You miss out on a few things, but the amount of money you save is probably going to make up for that. Money and time also, because you can just focus on studying if you're committed. Uh, although, okay, admittedly at that age, it's, it's hard, kind of hard for people to be committed. Probably. And not a lot of, of, uh, how, do, how can you call these? Um, not life jacket, kind of life jacket. Donut overlap? Donut overlap works for me. Clearly, like, I can feel that she's got the muscles in mind here. So she's got some extensors probably here. And then the book. So we're doing like, something like, <coughs> let's see. Probably something like this. The volume is probably doing something like that. Oh, hey, Samuel, hello. <coughs> yeah, I'm not gonna be here for long. Also, because you can probably tell I'm still very sick. I'm gonna leave in about 20 ish, 25 maybe. <coughs> I'm really sorry I haven't much chatting in the Discord or live session. Ah, no worry. Yeah, I know you have school. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Uh, it's the thought that counts. <clears throat> uh, I might be on tomorrow though, Samuel, uh, if you want. Still, though, still about the same time. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get well soon, as long as I'm here. Um, I'm always sick when I'm in Japan. Like I said many times uh, on stream when I was in Italy, I was not kidding. <laughs> I'm always sick here, so. Uh, uh, also because my son got sick again now, he's got another another cold, uh, so um, I'm not expecting to feel any better anytime soon, unfortunately. You drink ginger? I drink ginger too. Oh, I, I chew ginger actually. Um, but it doesn't really help that much. Uh, it can fend off some throat bacteria sometimes, but... And not in this quantity, probably. I literally have my son coughing on my face and sneezing on my face, so that's uh, it's not very useful. <coughs> it's like that, you know. Sadly, sadly. Pray or something better soon. You as well. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate. Yeah, he's always sick too. Um, I think he's got my genes, uh, so he doesn't have like genetic immunity from these viruses. I don't know. Cause my wife doesn't get any like not this much sick. She she got the same thing, but not as long as I got it. Um, 
I literally cannot sleep because I cough too much. So uh, it's always been a battle, uh, uphill battle uh, when I was here before because I get sick and then I stay sick forever. <laughs> so it's it's not great. Uh, to those who tell me, oh Japan, I had a blast. Yeah, like, yeah, me too. Uh huh. <laughs> a blast of viruses, <laughs> these strange diseases. <clears throat> All right, Samuel. See you, and see you too, uh, student seventeen. And good night. Here, I am absurdly above the, uh, the line of the, of the original. Yep, you have a good night too. This should be... Wait, is it here? Ah, I forgot. <coughs> Let me see. So... We got this shadow, 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 shadow. We got shoulder coming in. And this kind of shadowish thing here. And then we got this. <coughs> and then this goes down. The bend the elbow is about here. So it's a little high. Right now, I'm gonna move it down a notch. Something like this can work. I'm using uh, plumb lines, basically, um, all the time. I'm holding my pencil up with the reference, actually. Uh, stylus. <coughs> yeah, something like here is probably fine. find a flow no actually I want to focus let me let me try to do the um the foot that's a little further away by the way notice how here um she cuts right through the beak not in the middle of the mouth nor here I mean, here would be fine, but middle of the mouth would create kind of a weird shape. Although it would make the mouth more evident. I think it still works this way. see the action line still a little far from there or maybe it's gonna be bigger <coughs> I can see that the action line goes actually goes through the, the foot like this and then it kind of comes back like with this little um, Heel, I guess let's call it. And here it goes, a little bit more similar to what I usually do. That's that uh, donut, donut shaped uh, toe cover, not toe, toenail cover. <coughs> Something like that.
But I like how um, she is. She's just going right through. I think. Hmm. Some of these do seem to be texture. Because they feel a little more blurry than the rest of the composition. There's still a lot to analyze, but this is probably gonna be enough. What did I do? Oh, see, okay. I came in the. Okay, so the plate. The plate covers here is absolutely freaking lootly emphasizing the fact that, like, does this and then this basically. So I can feel in the drawing uh, or illustration, I can feel uh, like the bulkiness of this part. Absolutely, and uh, the, these parts, I think they should move a little more towards the front. Because this is a little, little off. Yeah, so this is longer than it should be. So we end up somewhere like here and go up kind of a little more straight. Again, try to feel for that organic aspect that her. Uh, art usually conveys because I feel like again mine um, tends not to be so um, natural looking it feels like very inorganic if you know what I mean I'm trying to like probably feel for those like little nuances in the shapes Or even here, see, I tend to go very, like, okay, this is a convex shape, but she doesn't. In fact, this here, it's probably concave, not convex. This is a little bit, even mostly straight. Uh, she probably used it to balance um, straights and curves. Probably. Anyhow, um, let's try to get this wing, proto wing, sort of very cool wing actually. So where's this is go? Uh, <coughs> yeah, above the head is fine. Got a good, like a bulge here. This is like a separate bulge. I don't know if she actually thinks about it, but look at this, like this, and then it goes back like this. <coughs> That's got a few ridges and then the, the back spike and then here the elbow sort of elbow um maybe i should get it a little closer so that you can always see it this is what i'm working on right now <coughs> doing here obviously doubling up on the line weight because she wants these areas very separate to be very to look very um, separate from each other so this area here is in the back and there's some air in between so double down on the darkness 
of the lines, very thick dark lines here. And this again straight, a slope is like this, this sort of shape. Well, I would do something more even. I might just do a stream that's all shape design exercises, nothing else. Just cool shapes. <coughs> Let's see how that goes. Oh, hello, Samuel. Hello. How are you doing? Good afternoon. It's uh, 3 p.m. I think there. 3 p.m. Probably in Italy. Should check my clock. My phone tells me what time it is at home. <coughs> yes. 2.52 Good, just finished some cleaning Cool You can probably tell I'm still sick <laughs> I know it's been a long time but Such is Japan for me And for a lot of people, believe it or not <laughs> A lot of people that live here um, I was reading about a guy Yesterday, uh, he said his uh, the levels of uh, various uh, he's got various values in his blood that defy logic. <laughs> Since when he came here, just very very strange. He's got all types of diseases now. Been here 15 years though. Poor him. I'm not planning to. So here, uh, I think it goes down a little bit, kind of an S. So she seems to be using a lot of S curves actually. So this is technically, technically, <coughs> no, I don't want to delete this. So let's see, this should be an, this should be an S, no. This should be an S. And then this should also be an S, so it should go somewhere like this. <coughs> very, very cool. And then it goes back here again. And there is a little spike that prevents you, prevents your eye from just actually going back here, but <coughs> following the flow of the other spikes. So one, now I am getting to the wing, I promise. One, two, <coughs> and while I would do the usual thing like this, she doesn't, obviously, because she draws better. So I missed the first part, what exactly is going on? Okay, <coughs> I am um, studying, coughing first, then I'm studying this uh, piece, um, <coughs> excuse me, from Mio Midorikawa. Um, you can find more work of her at eldra.net um, and I'm just trying to figure out some shape design because she's got very organic looking creatures and I feel like mine are a little more stiff usually on average so I want to try to incorporate some of her uh, design into uh, mine as well and I'm trying to figure out like various parts like for example like why are the toes feeling that like that and the spikes and so on and so forth um, because I, I did those spikes on the cockatrice, and uh, not spikes, uh, plates on the cockatrice, and I'm not very happy with them. Um, so, this is basically trying to uh, uh, study this artist. Hello, Afraid Punch! 
new viewer why are you drawing uh, right now well first apologies for my voice and sound quality this is not average uh, on the channel <coughs> I'm just very sick and I'm in Japan so I don't have my gear um, I'm uh, copying uh, like I was saying a while ago this drawing I'm not copying I'm studying this uh, this illustration from me uh, let me write it Mio Midorikawa, who is uh, also known as uh, Green River, um, who is an artist from Japan, he works, she worked for Magic and uh, uh, Dual Masters and other things, because I want to uh, try to understand how she gets these very, uh, this very organic look in her uh, art. And that's what I'm trying to do now. I'm not going to finish it, I'm going to run for another... 15 minutes maybe um, but uh, yeah I think I got some interesting insights on her workflow or at least on her decision-making because um, she seems to use a lot of very very many uh, s curves here so that's and and they're also very See, like I tend to to go when I draw arcs, I try I tend to like make C curves instead. She goes like like this, more like a series of straights actually than a curve. But they have a different orientation, so that's very cool. <coughs> so um, when I was still trying to learn drawing, we we'll get some basic tutorial and try to learn to draw them anatomically correct, which helped me. But honestly, it broke me a little. Too many details. Yeah, I understand. Now I feel like my eye sees problems everywhere. Ah, uh, yeah, um, that's common. Uh, that's common, and it's something you're gonna have to fight uh, because I have it all the time. Uh, so I know what it feels um, like. Usually, I get to a point I'm like, this sucks. But I, you have to keep on doing it because it's gonna get better. Uh, it will get better. So this angle, look at even here, God, like this. See, this is. There is no shape that's like the ones that I used to draw. Uh, maybe continue this next time. I don't know. It's so useful. Um, Very, very useful to do. Uh, I got the angle wrong. Hey, I'm not looking for 100% accuracy here, but somewhere in the ballpark because I want at least the shape relationships to be sound uh, because that's the whole point of the exercise. Um, so I'm thinking if I do string tomorrow, and I really hope I can, um, definitely. I'm not going to say definitely because I'm afraid of getting sick again, but more, more more than likely I will be able to stream on Monday because I'm alone here on Monday. Um, so I should be able to stream earlier also. And I might really do that uh, shape design uh, exercise. So instead of copying her, I would look at the nuances of the shapes she draws and I would just draw random okay let's, let's try to get a shape that's kind of like that okay does it look cool yes okay can we make it look 3d what is it some sort of spike I don't know <coughs> and then we might even might even shade it I don't know let's think about it and uh, adding line weight then I don't know something like this but you can see already I have a problem here like this is basically an isosceles triangle, uh, so that's not good. It is. It takes a long time to develop. I would. I would say a natural feel uh, for the uh, for good shapes. <clears throat> like for example, I can see them, but I cannot execute them so efficiently without squeezing my neurons very hard. I would say recruiting probably more than squeezing. Um, so even here, we got this little thing here, and then the bottom is kind of straight, pretty much. Checking dates, kind of almost straight. 
to the soil too much. <coughs> it's all a matter of relationship between these shapes. And the better the relationship is, and the more interesting and cool the result will look. See, like here, oh, this is, this goes a little more pointy and this is a little more straight here, so it creates a slight difference that makes it feel organic, uh, I think. A lot to join your stream again. Cool, yeah. Um, I, I hope to be able to stream tomorrow. Usually I stream at the same time, like this time now. Um, I don't know what, what your time zone is, but here it's uh, 11 p.m. now. Um, I am GMT minus nine. So, or plus nine was it? No, it was plus nine, sorry. Plus nine. <coughs> Basically Tokyo, uh, Tokyo time zone. So usually I stream about around 10 ish not for so long depending on my son wanting to sleep or not um so yeah we'd love to have you again uh in the stream i hope you can join again and if you have discord or uh or discord i guess because you're on youtube send so us twitch um we have a we have a, a discord channel that you can find in the in the about section, um, we do run some some um, interesting challenges every month. Uh, not this month, uh, actually. Okay, it's March now, so mm, right. Uh, I might I might actually uh, we might actually do something this month. Let me think. I'm gonna think about it tomorrow since it's Sunday. I, I should have enough time to do it. Um, and we might we might we might have a monthly challenge again if anyone is up for it. I should be, should be able to do it. So we'll see. Hmm. Trying to think now. What could it be about? <coughs> I think Empire of Cheese. Oh, I wanted to do something. And then Empire of Cheese said, "Oh, let's do Kaiju now." Um, hmm. What was it? I do not remember. At all. God, my memory fails me. Okay, well, I'll think about it, never mind. Um, but I'm gonna come up with something, and then... Uh, and then we're gonna do it like we do every month, although it's probably gonna be more complicated for everybody to follow the streams where I talk about it. Um, yeah, it should be fun, like always. Oh, uh, I forgot a message here. Yes, that, exactly that. And then there's perspective. Nothing ever looked good enough. In self-learning, you never got... It hard work. Um, <coughs> I can relate because I'm mostly not 100% or mostly self-taught too. Um, and the the point, uh, Samuel, is that you have to be kind to yourself. Uh, it's a lifelong uh, journey. And yeah, perspective. Perspective is a sucker. Uh, perspective is hard. It's never going to be easy. And at some point, you got to be like, okay. Is this good enough? If this is good enough, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. Does it fool me? Can it fool someone into believing that this is a three-dimensional form? Yes, then it's fine. Just leave it. Uh, no, then you gotta figure out why. This is too long, by the way. Uh, you gotta figure out why, and until you figure out why, it's gonna keep sucking. It's gonna keep sucking the life out of you because it's, it's frustrating. Like, very, very frustrating. <coughs> um, if anything is frustrating about drawing, it's perspective for me. Uh, including spatial awareness. I'm not naturally gifted, uh, I guess, with understanding 
spatial relationships uh, on a two-dimensional surface pretending it's 3d so that is something to say uh, someone finds it easy I guess it's also um, to be honest it's also how much you draw because I noticed that the more I draw the easier it comes like if I keep drawing the whole day by the time it's late afternoon I I can kind of feel the third dimension when I draw <clears throat> otherwise if it's like today today I didn't draw at all um, except for now uh, so I find it extremely difficult to <coughs> kind of feel okay um, like okay I'm gonna I'm gonna draw a cylinder and I'm gonna I want to feel that it's actually a cylinder so I'm gonna go very slow but I'm gonna make sure I can feel that I'm going around it something like that and I try to do a couple of those exercises if I don't feel like it but it's still very hard it, it is hard um, if I if I'm not in that mood um, it gets easier uh, especially if you do a lot of live drawing but it's something that you gotta practice a lot um, there is there is no there is no trick uh, unfortunately and that sucks big time but it is what it is <laughs> it is what it is okay I think I'm gonna stop here um, it's getting late uh, so <coughs> okay um, interesting I'm gonna leave this where it is I don't think I'm gonna continue or, or at least on stream um, and then next time uh, probably tomorrow uh, we're gonna do some of these exercises that I mentioned so just trying to keep uh, a few of her pieces uh, nearby and by examining the uh, type of relationships she has here um, trying to come up with our own uh, version of these shapes so that they look three-dimensional but also have a good um, balance between straight curves uh, and large versus small <coughs> okay um, yeah uh, while my voice squeaks uh, oh uh, in my head it seems okay but portraying is a different thing I feel like I can perfectly visualize the 3d the th 3d of an image and the space in a drawing um, yeah, it, it just takes time. Um, I don't know how long you've been drawing, but it takes a long time. I cannot do it perfectly. Like when I when I mean uh, having spatial awareness, it's like when you when you have it in your head, you can almost touch it. Like the feeling is that you can almost see through it and rotate it um, and touch it. It's it's got consistency, and that's very hard for me to do. Uh, so hopefully, it's a little easier for you. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, um, we'll, we will see, uh, we'll see each other again tomorrow, hopefully. Oh, we will chat, I guess, a little bit. Um, everybody, thanks for joining me today. I apologize for the raspy voice, the coughing, and, uh, you know, all the <laughs> annoying sounds that I make, but I'm still very sick. Um, so you guys have a good afternoon, morning, uh, or evening, and I will see you next time. Take care.